you have good depth perception and a strong sense of where you are in three-dimensional space? Are you able to make solid decisions and act on them quickly? Do you have good reflexes and hand-eye coordination? Are you interested in flying aircraft and related equipment? If that's you, then you're cleared for takeoff into a career as a helicopter pilot. Helicopter pilots transport passengers and cargo using specialized aircraft that move in any direction and can remain in one place in the air. We hovered around with an Alberta helicopter pilot to get the hang of this lofty career. Hi, my name is Justin and I'm a helicopter pilot. A helicopter pilot is a pilot who operates a rotary aircraft. A helicopter is a rotary aircraft uh, consisting of a main rotor blade rotating on the top. Uh, this allows the aircraft to move forward, backwards, sideways, um, any direction and land almost anywhere. A helicopter pilot might take aerial photographs or aerial surveys of wildlife. They fight fires and support offshore oil rigs. Helicopter pilots can conduct search and rescue work um, and avalanche control. Helicopters can also be involved in the agricultural uh, side of things as well in Alberta, such as crop spray and pesticide control. The uh, police uh, force also employs helicopters to assist in their operations. And helicopters also provide emergency medical support uh, in taking patients to hospitals. My job is, is a surveillance pilot, so that involves surveying Alberta's pipelines. What inspired me to become a helicopter pilot um, was uh, the various air shows I attended as a, as a younger kid. Definitely coming to the flight school and going up for my first flight. Um, that's what gave me the bug right there. The duties of a helicopter pilot can consist of fuel management. The passengers are properly briefed, seated, and uh, know all of the emergency exits in the aircraft and how to get out in case of emergency. We are responsible for filing a flight plan. Um, that means that someone somewhere knows where we are at all times. 0451 Romeo Whiskey, the, uh, we're just at Synergy here. We'll be looking for north departure. Helicopter pilots must stay in contact with um, air traffic uh, in the area, as well as control towers and control zones, uh, as well as personnel on the ground that we're working with. A typical day is we show up at the hangar. We start with a daily inspection of the aircraft. We install any gear required. Part of our daily routine is managing where our fuel supplies are, uh, meaning as we only have two hours and 30 minutes of fuel, if we're out for an eight hour day, it means we need to have some spots to fuel up from around the day. Once our flight plans are put in, we depart from the airport and we begin our patrols. Some tools um, used by a helicopter pilot would be um, our instruments that we have on our panel, um, our airspeed indication, we have directional indications, uh, as well as altitude telling us how high we are above the ground. Some PPE or personal protective equipment involved um, with flying a helicopter uh, is a helmet. The flight suit that I wear uh, is a flame retardant flight suit, uh, which is extremely important, especially dealing with fuel and things like that. Uh, gloves and proper footwear. Important skills as a helicopter pilot would be um, a good sense of spatial awareness, um, a good sense of safety is required, ability to make decisions quickly and effectively, and a general positive aptitude for aviation. Physically, to be a helicopter pilot, you require something called a class one medical. Um, simply what that means is just the highest standard of a, of a medical examination. This involves having a healthy heart, healthy eyes, um, able to read, um, non-colorblind, things like that. Operating helicopters uh, can prove to be stressful at times. Being up in the air, um, anything can go wrong at any time. You might find yourself working in severe weather conditions. This can be stressful. A pilot must always be alert. For a surveillance pilot like myself, uh, shift work is quite common. Um, and for an instructor per se, or someone who works on at the airport, a Monday to Friday shift can usually suffice. Um, we have limits to how many hours we can work per day and limits to how many hours we can fly per day. To achieve a helicopter license requires you to complete uh, Transport Canada examination and from there you'll go to a flight test. Well, the hour requirement to get licensed as a pilot uh, for rotary is 100 hours and 65 of that is with an instructor, 35 of it have to be solo which means you on your own flying. The satisfying aspects of being a pilot, I would say the uh, absolute freedom of operating aircraft in the sky, it's, it's something um, without words, it's, it's an incredible experience. If you were interested in being a helicopter pilot, uh, follow that dream. A lot of people told me it was unachievable, so don't let someone tell you that it's not possible. Helicopter pilots with long successful careers have good judgment, a positive attitude and emotional stability. And of course, 
getting along with a wide range of people gives you that extra lift. Get your rotors running and check out more about this occupation, including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. And find out about related occupations, like airline pilot and Canadian Armed Forces personnel, commissioned officer. The sky's the limit. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.